Hey everyone, I'm Naj Austin, the founder of Somewhere Good, and welcome to my Crown Heights Brownstone. Hey y'all, welcome to my crib. I'm gonna give you a little tour of how it all works here. So one of my favorite aspects of this brownstone is this beautiful built-in library that I've stuffed with all of my favorite books. They are not organized. Well, they're kind of organized by books I read the least to ones I haven't read yet um, at the bottom so that they're accessible. And then over here we have just art that I've found and sort of accumulated over the years. Um, this artist up here, his name's Edward Cushenberry. He's great. I have his pieces around the house, so you'll see um, that later. And obviously just all of this wood is really warm and beautiful. And so I just kind of let the apartment make the rules in terms of how it's all decorated. So as we do the rest of the tour of the living room, we have the very important part, which is where you take your shoes off so you don't track dirt around the house. Um, then we have these enormous doors that are super heavy. Um, we'll get to those later, but they're pocket doors, so they slide in and out, which is really cool. Over here is a sitting area. Um, I have my magazines that I am subscribed to and they appear at my door every month. I kind of read those, but not really. Um, and a ton of art that I've accumulated over the last couple of years. Some of them are from local Brooklyn artists. Two of these pieces I got when I was in Tokyo at a Virgil Abloh, Louis Vuitton collaboration. It was super random. I just happened to come across it and they were giving out art pieces um, or photography. And so they're here. Um, and then obviously you see all of my plants. Um, I have a lot. I used to name them, but not so much anymore because they're just way too many. Um, this is a prized possession. This is a book that my friend Annika just wrote. And so it's up here because it's important and it's a book where I know the author that's in my house, which is really cool. Um, what else we got? We have lots of tchotchkes in this house. Um, I have incense. Oh, these are fun. These pieces here are from old or rather vintage ebony magazines from the 60s and 70s. And I just pulled images I liked from them and then put them in a frame, which is an easy way to get really cool artwork in your house. Um, we have my super comfy couch that is good for cuddling, just even with yourself. It was important that I could really like curl up and not feel like I was falling off. And I feel like in most New York City apartments, you're always compromising on your couch size and I refuse to do that here. Um, and then we have one of my favorite pieces in the apartment, a Noguchi lamp. There's a Noguchi Museum here in New York City. I went, fell in love, was inspired, wanted to buy everything. It's a little unaffordable for the average person, but I could get this lamp, which was cool. Um, so this is one of the first things I put up when I moved in. And I thought it kind of complemented the ceiling, which has a ton of ornate design. Um, so it's just like play between traditional and modernism, something like that. So over here, we have my record station. Um, I try to play records a lot, actually. I, you know, we, we live in New York City. I'm a millennial. We like things like that. Um, so whenever I have parties, we try to like play it as often as possible. And then here is a photograph from my friend Andre Lero, who's a Brooklyn-based photographer. He makes amazing, beautiful artwork. And so when I saw that he had this, I DM'd him immediately and was like, I want to buy that from you. Um, so it's really important to me that it is like the first thing you see when you walk into the apartment. And so then we have a small aromatherapy section here. You'll notice around the apartment, there's a lot of candles and smelly things. I'm obsessed with this house smelling good. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And now we're going to go look at the kitchen. I am a big cook, and so it was really important that I find an apartment that really let me spread out when I'm cooking. You'll see my aprons are over here, um, which I actually wear when I cook. Um, over here are all of my favorite cookbooks, and it kind of is a place where I take a moment to like write down my recipes for the week and just like take a minute. Um, and then here's probably the most important part of the whole kitchen, which are my vintage Ikea islands that I have procured over the last 12 years of living in New York City. Um, they're two pieces connected. 
This one piece I got like three years ago from some dude in like Long Island. And this one I got two years ago from some person who lives in Brooklyn. Um, they're really hard to find because they don't make them anymore and they're like that thick hardwood. Um, but I thought it really tied the kitchen together. And then on the far side of the island, you'll see my fruit bowl, which I talk about way too much for it to be a fruit bowl. Um, but it's this really specific piece that uses like ancient fruit technology where there's cork at the top that helps slow down like mold and bacteria and it's enormous and it fits all my things and I'm obsessed with it. Um, so there's that. Over here is my bar question mark. I don't really make drinks, but I feel like as a 30 year old, you're supposed to have a bar. So this is what mine looks like. Um, you'll see I mostly like took care and attention of the plants. Obviously art, obviously art. Oh, also you'll see my Sonos down there. Um, the whole house is connected uh, with about nine different sonuses spread out. Um, I think it's just important to like be able to always, you know, have a vibe. And I can also control each room separately. And so I can scare my friends when they're here by changing the music. So this is the bathroom. We don't necess necessarily have to tour it, um, but it's kind of like giving spa vibes, which was important to me. There's plants obviously all over as we've already talked about. There's actually a plant in the shower. Um, and every time I shower, I water it. I know there's gonna be plant parents out there who do not like that, but it's kind of thriving. Um, I also have this like vintage art piece that I found at a stoop sale um, that I really love. And also, as I mentioned earlier, I have speakers in here. And so again, I can turn on and off the music and have creepy playlists playing um, to spook people, which I'm realizing is part of my personality. And then more just cooking space. And I think when I'm like really cooking, every single part of this kitchen is somehow occupied. I think that's kind of it about the kitchen. I'm just trying to think, oh yeah, um, love this plant. Oh, this is my wall of love, AKA my refrigerator. I have magnets from any place I visit it. You'll see them spread out. Um, any sort of art show I go to, and then nice things that people write to me. These are my parents. That's me as a baby. That's my really cute nephew, et cetera, et cetera. So back to these doors. As I mentioned, they're pocket doors. They're also super heavy. But inside is the second part of the apartment. Um, we have what I have dubbed my sitting room um, because there's really nothing to do in here besides sit, but I have all of my art books, art, and just other things to kind of like take a moment and not watch TV, not play on my phone, things like that. Um, these two chairs here are also sourced from Craigslist. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Great site. One I found from a woman in Brooklyn who had a house full of them. Um, and the other person was just moving and they're, um, they're called Cheska chairs and I just really love the look of them, so source them. Um, a tapestry I've had for a long time, I don't even remember where I got it, but it just followed me from apartment to apartment and I finally found a home for it. And on this side, um, we have all of my favorite art books, a lot of my favorite artists, these are two more pieces from my friend Andre. I haven't found a good home for them yet, so they're hanging out right there. And then here we have a piece by the artist Kadir Nelson. I've always loved his work. I was able to get my hands on this and obviously found a home for it in the art slash sitting room. Um, this is a book by an artist and photographer named Tyler Mitchell. He does a lot of different events around New York City. I went to see him at International Center of Photography or his exhibit and made sure to get this immediately so that I could take a little bit of it home with me. What else do we have? Oh yeah, this piece here is a planter. There's no plant in it because I already have too many plants, but one day there will be. Um, and it's a painted basketball. I just thought it looked really sick. Um, so right now it lives here again in the art room. I know I've said my favorite room a lot, but this one's actually my favorite room because the light is just so sweet. So we've made it to my bedroom. As you can see, there's a ton of light and the ceilings are high, which is dope. But I almost forgot, 
we have to say hi to the dragons when we walk in the room. There are two of them. Um, they're super detailed. I didn't even know they were here for the like first couple of months I lived here. And now that I've noticed them, they've become like, you know, roommates. So now that you've met the dragons, we can do the rest of the tour of the bedroom. Uh, behind me are these enormous, beautiful doors. I don't use them, but they're nice. Um, we also have more art over here, books that I love. This room gets a ton of sunlight, so it's a really nice room to just read in. And this room is also a no tech room, which means no phones, no laptops, no iPads, no chargers. It's really a room for reflection. I work in tech. I'm the founder of a social platform called Somewhere Good, and I spend literally all of my time thinking about technology. And so it's important, especially when working from home, that I can literally close that door and not think about it anymore, um, which is why it's filled with things that make me think about other things like nature, art, and books. Um, over here we have more plants. This is one of my favorite pieces. This corner is also a little bit iconic because it's where I take all of my um, like conference calls or panels I'm on. And so people will often say in the chats like, I love that mirror, I've seen it in other talks. Um, so, you know, historic moment over here. Um, and then we have the blinds or the shutters also semi-famous because they work like this. You pull here, they fold out side one. You do the same thing on this side and then they latch. I'm not watching it. They latch and that's how you make the sun go away. Um, but I try to, you know, keep them open. I think when I wake up in the morning, the very first thing I do is open these blinds and then I get back into bed because then I want the sun shining on me when I wake up. Um, and yeah, I, I love them. And you can tell that they're just made with like a lot of love and intention like the rest of this apartment. We have a lamp I love. I do not remember where I got it, but it has traveled around with me like so many other pieces in this apartment. We have my bed, which is where I sometimes take calls, but from my phone when I'm not allowed to. Um, but generally, this is just like a sleeping moment. Um, and then the only technology that is allowed here is this hatch. Um, it is a device that you can program to like have like sleep noises start at a certain time. It has like ambient lighting that comes on. And so at 10.30, it starts to be like, Naj, it's time to go to bed. And I've become very attached to it. And now when I leave home, I can't go to bed. <laughs> Just a different problem for a different day. Um, then over here we just have my, I don't know what to even call this, like where I get ready in the morning, um, where I store things, a closet, question mark. Um, it's from Ikea, I love it. It came in like 30 boxes, but once it, you know, was put together, it was great. And uh, yeah, that's my room. The most important thing when I'm designing my space is to fill it with love. So a lot of friend stuff, a lot of people I admire, things that I've just had over a long amount of time. I wouldn't call myself a hoarder, but I do think that I hold on to things that I find meaningful. Where's your go-to spot in the neighborhood? There is a coffee shop I love called Daughter. Um, they have coffee from a company called Say, which is based in Bushwick, which I love. They were rated like best coffee in New York City at one point. Um, but Daughter is super cozy. It feels like an extension of this house. So we should definitely go there. Awesome, we should go. Go. Cool. So this is Daughter, my favorite coffee shop. I also realized it does not say it anywhere except for the door or unless you know. I want to thank y'all for coming through, taking the tour of my apartment. If you want to follow me, my handle is Naj Austin on Instagram. If you want to follow Somewhere Good and what we're up to on that side, it's at Somewhere Good World. Thank you. So this is Dot. <laughs> Stop right